but my problem is like <laughs> okay so from what i know your listening reading understanding skills are perfect like they hello good evening good evening how are you i'm good i'm great and you wow you're happy today i'm good i'm good yes. so today we are discussing nowadays, the finish of what we nowadays you are looking uh, move fair fair <laughs> are you using ring light don't take it otherwise <laughs> no this is my normal light i'm just kidding with you actually i got one comment one of from one of my viewers then mm-hmm. this is like trendy topic i mean trendy thing nowadays even uh, we can we are not perfect even mr divyam jain needs candle in <laughs> dark need tar- torch sorry <laughs> no, no. This is just a normal light that is on top of yeah. the seat. In front of me, there is no light. There is only one on top. Yeah. So there are so many things going on, like in the same way. Don't worry. I don't. Um, I don't believe in cosmetics. And um, I mean, you know how people are so worried nowadays with social media that I have to look fair, my teeth have to look perfect, my hair has to look perfect. I don't even do my hair honestly. Like it's just no product, nothing. It's just there. Oh, don't say like that. So without any efforts, you are, you have that. Uh, I mean, you have good looking, naturally genetic. I put as in I try to groom myself. I wash my face. That's about it. I don't even have a face wash honestly. <laughs> Not even a face this wash. This is how. Like this is how I'm going to reveal all of all your things. <laughs> All my secrets. Secrets, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even sleep, so it's not even beauty sleep. Honestly, I sleep like three hours a day. Three hours a day. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I'm not I'm not going to reveal any any more thing <laughs> <laughs> because I'm I can't do these things. So yeah. No more questions. I have so many questions, but I don't think so. I should ask. Okay, yeah, I okay. Sh- I have one question. I mean, many of my viewers keep asking to me, like, please mm-hmm. ask to you that uh, how uh, how have you learned English or how you are so good in your communication skill? So, you I'm decent. Say? I'm decent at communication. Okay. okay and uh, secondly, <clears throat> the the so I was not a big fan of English till my eighth eighth, eighth standard. Okay. Okay. And in eighth standard, I was an ICSE. Ah, ICSE. I'm saying, oh my god, not the bank. ICSE, <laughs> the board, the education board. All right. Okay. ICSE. And uh, after that, my parents were like, okay, now you have to take tuition for your tenth, and I. Was against tuition because I wanted to have a life. I was always a athletic kid. I wanted to go play with my friends. I wanted time to myself. So you know, I hated the fact that I had to go to school and then come back and then sit for tuitions for two years, like from my ninth and tenth. You know how important boards are in India, right? Mm-hmm. People are like, "No, I have to study, 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 get marks." So I just told them that, "Yeah, I, I, I'm not doing that. So you can do whatever you want about it, but I'm not going to attend tuitions." And mm-hmm. um, they luckily. enrolled me in an international school where the school focused more on understanding than just you know mugging or learning things okay so if even when the teachers were really sweet they were uh, always if you didn't understand something they would say no don't just remember the answers understand them right okay. so um i had an english teacher there uh, i'm mm-hmm. not going to reveal her name obviously but <laughs> <laughs> she told us some really cool facts some you know general knowledge facts and she was the one who was like you don't eat soup dummy you uh, you don't drink soup dummy you eat soup and we were all confused as indians we were like what we drink soup right we we drink soup so drink like, soup how can we and she said soup? no yeah so she was from like uh, cambridge university like oh. british english 
<laughs> so <clears throat> there is belief that you can only eat soup because it's made from vegetables. Right. Right. So these are some of the things that really uh, got my curiosity high. Like I was like, "Wow, that's so cool! Like, what more things can I learn?" So I started watching some shows she recommended. I was never a book reader. I still am not. I have a lot of books, but I don't end up finishing them. I just read some a little bit, and I get lazy, so I leave it. Yeah, na. Um, but I just got good watching movies. Honestly speaking, like that is the best exercise I've done for my English learning journey. Uh, I would like to share my experience. Like, uh, like you <laughs> told me, you suggested me earlier that you should have watched. Uh, TV, I mean English movies or series. Yes. Yeah. Can you uh, start over with that? Yes, yes, yes. So as you su- suggested earlier that uh, I should watch English movies and series. So I have started watching, but my problem is like. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. So I have watched uh, many episodes of English movies and series. but my problem is that i can understand all the things and i came to know about uh, new structures advanced advanced structures like landed up ended up but when it comes uh, about speaking so i am failed to utilize uh, those sentences during my conversation so how can i execute whatever i have watched in movies and series and i can use those sentences during my conversation i mean i know that intentionally i have to do that like before conversation i have to write down three or four sentences and intentionally i uh, should use during my conversation but sometimes i i i am able to manage but majority of time time i fail so do you have something new for that see um one of the things about learning anything not just a language a skill or it could be any life lesson also is that everyone has a different way of learning i was lucky enough that my way of learning was watching movies and understanding why someone uses a sentence why it would look cooler to say a sentence in in terms like why it is cooler to use an idiom instead mm-hmm. of just say that sentence in english in, in like normal english right easy yes. english so there was a time where so after my 10th and before my college started i had a 9 month vacation all right so in the 9 months i used to just watch movies and play football two two or three things i used to do that's it watch movies and play football that it came to a point where i i was watching three movies a day oh my god all right so i was and only hollywood okay so at that time i had realized how awesome hollywood is and i was just it's not even like okay research some movie and watch you know just open the app scroll like this whatever thumbnail looks good just watch the whole movie like it was that crazy so even now when someone asks me which is your favorite genre i don't have one i just like good movies yes so for you it could be watching youtube videos reading hmm. books writing essays some people get really good at you know uh, writing news articles some people hmm. are really keen on listening to books listening to e books as we mm-hmm. say right now mm-hmm. um it, it completely depends on your you know what makes you happy what provides you the most value so just because it worked for me doesn't mean you should also think it will work for you you should try it it may mm-hmm. work for you but don't just assume that oh why am i not learning anything it should just be like an experience where you enjoy it honestly yes like i think that goes with every job also like you won't do it unless you actually enjoy it right? yeah actually but because of i must say that i have less time i can say like that or i i have grown enough so i have i am always in rush that i mm-hmm. i uh, what should i say like i am behind from others like in terms mm-hmm. of having knowledge and in terms of achieving things and uh, sometimes you know you i get i even i got some negative comments not negative like constructive criticism so i thought that am i improving or not am i just uh, speaking without thinking sometimes i know that i have improved a lot because 
i know um, in in the past that was the time that i had a lot of plan that how i'm going to use excuse me in mall in mall mall so yeah so i know that i have improved a lot so far but uh, you know the the perfection which is uh, never exist in this world <laughs> but somehow yeah i made mistake no you are right there's no perfection in the world no yeah yeah so what uh, i feel uh, sometimes that uh, what would be the great or easy or simple way to learn and fastest as well so that i can grab things in short period of time see like i said it took me 9 months of watching three movies every day to get decent and then i practiced english for the next 10 years so it's a long process okay, okay. and if i th- i sometimes feel like you will you you are rushing things that's why you know you get a little nervous and you want to you don't know what think of yeah i okay. know i know yes yeah. that's why you learn the basics and fundamentals of english before you actually started speaking it you know yes. all the grammar rules right yes because you're scared you're going to make that mistake so you're like oh i'm not going to do it i'll do one thing i'll just completely remember all the foundational aspects and theory theoretical knowledge of english right actually at that time i didn't know that what what uh, is the process of learning i came to know very lately that uh, if you really want to speak i want to learn speaking so i have to do the same practice, practice. with reading with uh, writing i can't speak and because of circumstances as well because we don't have circumstances now it is it is very easy to get people like because of that social media and all that thing but still we are facing being a girl we can't uh, trust on anybody right mm-hmm. so still we are facing problems but yeah we have flapping go and many more apps <laughs> so it is it is very helpful for me if you are, if you ask me but yes the mindset that i came to know that uh, speaking part is very important I, even i didn't know what is communication skill till i had complete i have completed my post graduation what is communication skill i have done my graduation i have done you my post you didn't even know it existed till then yes yes absolutely and i i am a teacher so i should know what is communication skill and how can i improve my communication skill like i am a family teacher so i just need to handle children children right so you can't behave like intellectual person over there you you have to become like a child so that is also one of the reason so this is how i like overthinking every time <laughs> but yes <laughs> like i am just trying to find out what are the my problems and how can i get solution as well not only only problem problem sorry so yeah but it i am just sharing my thoughts not like that i am thinking every time these kind of things but yes i am finding the way that i can improve my pronunciation i can improve my uh, sentence formation sometimes i make same mistake and i feel irritated for myself but i am okay i am okay with that at myself uh, yeah but i am okay completely i don't have any problem with that but yes if you have any solution that i can directly jump into the fastest process so it would be great for me if you think i had a solution and i was keeping it to my, like with myself for this no, long no no i know i know <laughs> so but i i would just tell you that i understand that your uh, you know you have not not like a very strict time limit but you have some sort of time constraint in your mind that why am i not doing it why am i not doing it? why am i not getting better right but it's a very very slow process and you should just trust the journey and that's what i did honestly sometimes it's the same with stocks you don't every day you can't wake up and check the stocks it's not going to get better some yes. just sometimes just buy and forget it okay. six months down the line then check it maybe the price will be better you know yes. it's about it, it's a game of patience and just making sure you are doing your part every day every day yes yes sir so for now just enjoy the journey trust me it's going to be yeah, fun yeah actually i'm enjoy- nowadays i'm enjoying my journey it's not like that i'm not enjoying 
but i am trying to find the best way to learn like nowadays i am like a kind of spiritual person so sometimes i watch like spiritual talks and uh, like holly uh, sorry bollywood interviews like those actresses like priyanka chopra uh, from them i can learn english easily i must say the words yes. they choose so this is how i i uh, i do my practice that's good yeah so yeah i am uh, yeah and find go for it find inspiration in all of these things everything around you will inspire you honestly yes yes and also sometimes you know whenever i watch you know, like spiritual talks and intellectual talks so ra- rather than focusing on english i <laughs> start understanding what someone is trying to say on that video and i forget that i came here to learn english the sentence formation so it happens with everyone everybody so yeah this is how i'm doing and i know that with practice i will achieve my goals whatever i have set yes. for myself so yeah from what i know your listening reading understanding skills are perfect like they don't i mean obviously no one is perfect in that sense <laughs> but i mean they're good enough for you to not worry about it hi right? the mm-hmm. speaking part is where you need the most improvement as you have stated okay mm-hmm. and um, i personally feel you are getting better but uh, it is more so maybe don't try to become a flu become a fluent speaker but don't try to become an advanced speaker right now maybe don't focus on the idioms right now maybe don't focus on ex- like huge words in vocabulary mm-hmm. like maybe just try to get the basics right sentence formation chain of thought how mm. composed you are when you're talking right okay. because sometimes we start giggling when we're nervous we mm-hmm. and i'm not saying this is you i'm just saying in general people okay they mm-hmm. start giggling um they switch to hindi mm-hmm. um they'll tell themselves oh i'll never be able to do that you know the negative mindset i won't say mm-hmm. negative but self limiting mindset where they tell themselves that okay this is my limit mm mm-hmm. and if everyone had that mentality humans would not be this advanced right now right yeah. so just enjoy the journey set some high goals for yourself but make sure you know that there is a long time period it's a long term investment all right okay 